All right, this is take number like seven. I don't know what I'm doing, but I'm doing it all wrong. So take number seven, guys, hopefully I can get it right this time. If I don't lose my mind before the end of this recording, it's all good. Make sure to like the video. It'll sustain my sanity as we go through. So like it as you're watching to keep me sane while recording. One like equals one sane. So everything that we're looking at here, pretty cool stuff. Uh, new blog post, uh, a lot of cool goodies that are coming. We got Elite Red Star Warp update. We got six new characters, new event campaign, characters added to nodes. We got new leg, not, not new, sorry. <laughs> Legendary events coming, <laughs> not new. Well, well I do, there is one new one coming. And then Star Lord's coming back. I, I was gonna say that later, but I said it now. Star Lord's coming back. We all knew that it's in the game. Whatever, not news. So pretty much what Fox Next has said is that the past couple of patches that they've put out have been like bug fixes, right? So they're like, hey, we want to do something really cool with this next patch. So they're adding a ton of super cool stuff, which is pretty cool. So kudos to you, Fox Next. Pretty. Pretty chummy of you to give us some goodies. I appreciate it. I'm happy. Thank you. Thank you. So we're just going to get into this. Um, I've read this on camera like probably 15 times tonight. Um, it is 1.30 a.m. So we're just going to go. All right. We're just, just going to go, man. Just we're just going to do it. Let's do it. Full scent. <laughs> I'm sorry. So red star orb right so there's gonna be a, a elite red star orb store or the elite store I don't really know what that means, but basically if you get a duplicate in this very important very important very important for expectations if you get a duplicate from an elite orb then you will get credits Please understand it is only 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 from the elite orbs. I didn't know that at first. I got super hyped and I was like, well, it's gonna be crazy. But then I kind of had my expectations in check, like maybe around like the sixth time I was reading this. So yeah, so make sure you know it's only from the elite ones, right? So basically, if you get an elite four or you get a four star from an elite orb, okay? So if that's a duplicate, it's gonna give you elite five credits. The way that this is gonna work is that you're just gonna be able to purchase a five if you want to. I don't know how many you're gonna need. Like you're probably, I don't know, maybe pull like four or like five duplicates to get a five. I don't know, maybe two, three, seven, 38. I, d I don't know. Um, it doesn't give us that information, but you're gonna have to pull a certain number of duplicates of four, then you can pull five. You pull a certain number of duplicates with five you can pull six so on and so forth that's the way it works that's kind of my understanding and uh if you pull a seven duplicate you just immediately are able to pull another seven is the way that this reads one of the really cool parts about this and this is uh, just really cool of fox next to do so seriously again kudos good awesome thank you happy for this thing uh this is very like uh free to play friendly thing is that uh the even the basically it's gonna be just like the elite orbs right and so you if you pull a four one you get a four or above so even if you get duplicates and you pull a five you can then if it's a you know you have a chance of getting anything above that so say you're pulling the six uh one from the dupes you're gonna be able to only get six or seven from that so you can get anything above it. So if I'm doing the four, you get four, five, or s four, five, six, or seven, five, you get five, six, seven, six, you get six and seven, seven, you only get seven. So that's pretty cool. Uh, it says that they have enhanced drop rates um, as compared to regular uh, elite orbs. So I guess the elite duplicate orb, so it's another orb. Uh, I don't know, who knows what that means. It could be an increase from 0.001% to get a seven to 0.0011, you know what I mean? So who, who really knows? Um, but we'll have to kind of see how that goes. They're not gonna be giving away seven red stars. Sorry to, sorry to break it to you, buds. So they're doing that, but then the other cool thing is that uh, if you don't necessarily want to purchase the other orbs, you're, these credits can be used to purchase promotion credits what these promotion credits do is they allow you to just bump up whichever character you want so say i want to take my magneto who's only at two red star and i want to bump him up okay well i can use these credits and i can bump him up to the next level this is pretty exciting and it looks like it's going to be relatively feasible to bump characters up to five red star 
but it's gonna be interesting to get from six to seven, you need gold promotion credits, and those can only be gained from elite seven credits. And it looks like the only way you can do that is from an elite seven duplicate. So if it's from an elite seven duplicate, that, I mean, that's gonna be crazy. I don't know how the heck that's gonna happen. I guess basically what you could do is that, say you keep getting duplicates, and then, I don't know. It seems kind of crazy. That doesn't really seem like that's gonna be possible. I don't know, they don't want everybody running around with six and seven red star characters. And like they, like you could save it for like brand new characters and you used to immediately have like the latest and greatest next legendary at seven red star. Like, yeah, that's a little crazy. So I guess they do definitely want to put limits on that, which is understandable. I mean, you, you don't want to be able to do that. It would kind of break things. So this is something to think about. So it seems pretty cool, uh, pretty excited. Uh, they're gonna take the regular Elite Red Star Orb down for a little while, and they're gonna be putting out, or I guess they're gonna have nothing there for a little bit, but they're gonna just be doing like the, the rollbacks, essentially for like the duplicates that we've gotten. I've gotten Hydro Seven Scientist like 17 times. I got ahead of myself on words there. But basically, uh, we're gonna be getting that rollback and get those credits put into our account. Everybody will have what they've got duplicates for in the Elite Orb only so that's pretty cool so we might be able to have some pulls and everything so it's exciting to always have like fixes or not fixes but changes and then getting to do stuff right away so that's pretty exciting pretty cool next we are talking about the six new characters super exciting uh first couple times i recorded this video i thought it was three then i thought it was four then i thought it was seven then i thought it was five and then i learned to read i don't know how reading helped me count but i also learned how to count it's been a very very exciting day for my uh my literacy development. So, the new heroes, are, so there's three mutants. Actually, there's four mutants, five mutants, four. I can't count, it doesn't matter. I can't count, we'll find out together. So we have Psylocke, Colossus, and Phoenix. So Psylocke is gonna be a brawler. She's gonna be able to remove negative effects from allies and put them on enemies. Seems super powerful, says she's gonna do big damage too, so that's pretty cool. We've got some art for her right here. I think it's right here. It might be over here, wherever it is. There's art for her somewhere on the screen right now, right? You can see that? Okay, cool. So she's gonna have an event campaign pretty cool uh, you're gonna use martial artists it's pretty interesting uh, I'm not really sure what team I'm gonna use probably a hand with uh, my 51,000 power iron fist uh, yeah I mean they can work together for this it's it's imperative to complete the mission they got Colossus coming next he's gonna be the tank looks like he utilizes uh, deflect a lot that's pretty cool that's literally all it says about him then we have Phoenix who's gonna be the legendary character and we all know that like legendary characters like bring the teams together pretty cool so she's gonna be the character that does that it doesn't really say a whole lot about it. it says she does a ton of damage and that she boosts her team okay that's what we figured so it says the previews coming up in a few weeks so if the preview comes up in a few weeks then we'll have like a week to prepare for it I don't know what team it's gonna use I assume they're gonna tell maybe they'll tell us in the blog post next week what team is gonna be used but yeah we'll see what happens uh, I I'm pretty sure I have five characters of five star of every faction. So I'm ready. Uh, we're going to have her on the channel either way. So it's going to be good. Um, it'll be awesome. So I'm excited to play her. I'm excited to use her. And uh, yeah, we'll do it that way. So you don't want to miss out. You, it's She's going to be awesome, I'm sure. But the next character is America Chavez. I thought that this was a dude. And then I thought it was, I don't know what I thought. I thought it was a dude and then a chick and then a dude. And now I know that it's a chick. So now that we know that, uh, got that out of the way, uh, she is going to be a brawler. Um, apparently she's going to work really well with the brawler team. So it sounds like she'll compliment, uh, Ms. Marvel very well. Um, and that's good because like, I feel like a brawlers are always like switching around and like, you don't want to pull them out of their own factions to put them with brawlers, but then it's like, but you do, but you don't. And so hopefully like characters that are just like strictly brawlers and not a part of any other factions, uh, we'll get a few more of those and it'll work and we'll just have like almost, I mean, it'd be like brawler faction. So pretty cool. Um, yeah, but it looks like America Chavez is gonna be cool. I don't know anything about her. I'm gonna try and learn so that uh, when she does come out, we can do like a more in-depth look and I'll actually know something about her because it's kind of my job to tell you guys about stuff. And I can't know about it. Or I can't tell you about it if I don't know. Next, we have uh, something we've talked about before. I'm gonna put the card in one of the corners. I'm not sure which one, but it's in one of them. So I'm gonna point at both because that's foolproof, right? If I point at both, it's gotta be one of them. We got Agent Coulson. We already know all about him. So you can check out my other video if you want to. Then we also have Cyclops. 
it doesn't say anything else about them so we just know they're coming i think that's super cool like they're letting us know what's coming up right like it's not like hey you have this character coming out on this day this character's coming up on this day it's just hey these are what we're working on you'll see them eventually they're not even necessarily the next characters but we want you to be excited about them pretty cool i like that i like being able to look at this and say hey here's six new characters that are coming to the game and it's like for me like i'm excited like i'm just like yeah okay like yeah i'm hyped man let's get these x-men ready working on wolverine working on storm like this is gonna be a top arena team and so yeah it's super cool i'm pretty hype about it. i'm saving orange materials like i'm ready to rock and roll for this team i uh, hope you guys are too next thing that's super uh important uh venom is being added to nexus 6 9 so i don't know if that's a hard mission let me know in the comments down below if that's a hard mission let me know i'll make a video on it uh maybe set you guys up with a guide a lot of people seem to like my doctor strange my black panther guides uh my vision guide so let me know and uh yeah that's uh that's what we're gonna do so let me know about that we'll make a video on it it'll be good venom is awesome uh, if you don't have him or if you have him at low stars i mean you need him for shuri and uh he's also so pivotal for the spider verse team and he's also good with the brotherhood team so you definitely want him i love him he's also just like awesome because he just like eats people and stuff like you gotta have that guy right so like i said before star lord event we already knew about that whatever uh second rescue blitz is coming up uh, i don't doesn't say dates on it but that's coming soon uh power armor team seems super interesting excited to test them out myself so rescue blitz want to get on on that and uh yeah so guys that is it that is so it unless i have to record this video again then i'm gonna cry and then i'm gonna record it again if i have to let's hope not i gotta be up in a few hours i'm flying out of town for a wedding so speaking of that there will be no stream this weekend because i'm gonna be out of town so we had a lot of fun last week uh the link to my twitch is in the description uh go ahead and uh leave a follow on there so you guys can see it come have fun seriously the streams are super fun super fun everybody who comes by always has a blast so appreciate you stopping in uh everything else is in the description you know uh the discord patreon twitch i think that's it thank you guys so much for coming by go ahead and subscribe you can join the beard gang and uh, even if you don't have a beard you can still join uh and you know hey i'll uh you know maybe i'll photoshop uh, a beard onto your face why not done it before it's hilarious who doesn't want a beard we'll talk in the next one and uh yeah i just I don't know guys, this is super cool, so that's gonna be it.